I'm a father of three children. I think that is the most important thing. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, my children. Uh, yeah, they, they are. The, yeah, as I say, they are the most important thing, and uh, I have to do anything uh, to for them. Um, um, what people don't know, and I haven't told many people also, is that uh, I've had a divorce, and the divorce cost me a lot of money. Mm. Um, so that made me uh, come back in and in, do in do a fight. <laughs> I don't think I will keep on fighting because uh, yeah, there are. But but at that point, it was a, it was a, a good way for me to to yeah to uh, um, I say that. Uh, uh, come up with the with the loss I I have uh, financially. Mm. Okay, I think uh, I think a lot of people could probably relate to you on that. Maybe not for the fighting aspect, but taking a big loss yeah. financially because of a divorce. Um, mm-hmm. So obviously that that was something that would be even probably more than just financially. I'm sure that affected you quite a bit on an emotional level, having this kind of a disruption <laughs> in your life. Yeah, you know, I'm, I have to say that. Uh, for my for my uh, for my for the preparation of my fight, it didn't uh, uh, it didn't bother me at all. I was very concentrated. Uh, I took care of my children. Uh, I brought my my youngest son. He's eight, eight years old. I brought him to school uh, when the kids were with me, and uh, I took him out of school. I did everything myself. I didn't. I did not have the help of anyone else. Mm-hmm. And and in between, I did my trainings, and basically, I, it went quite good. I was just very satisfied with my with my condition, with my uh, with my body weight, and uh, and with my fight with Pete Outs. That's really awesome. And how, how do you feel like? So you're 49 now, and it's been a while since your, your last fight. How do you feel coming back into the ring at this point, at this stage in your life? <clears throat> well, you know, I mean, everybody says that age is nothing but a number. And uh, when you're in the ring, you don't think about your age. You just think about the fight. I mean, you cannot be distracted by uh, by the fact that you, that you are a little bit older now. Uh, you just have to do it do your job and that's that's what we that, that, that's what we fighters do uh, when we fight for me it was just uh, stay focused and do, do the right things in, in my preparation and do the fight no you've had a really long career as well and i believe it's been a uh, 122 fights including the last one if i'm correct mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. why like so way back when you when you started fighting originally what, what got you into it like what inspired you to want to get in the ring in the first place um uh, I think it was somewhere in the 70s. I, I saw uh, there was there was like a documentary or something about kickboxing on the TV in uh, in uh, Holland, and it sounded so it sounded so uh, exciting, you know, kickboxing. It's like kicking. You can kick. You can box. And uh, so I asked my father, "Can I can I join a kickboxing?" And then, and I don't live in Amsterdam. So my father uh, asked me, where do you want to do that? I said, yeah, I guess in Amsterdam. Mm. Then he said, no, no way. I was 13 years old. Okay. You're, not going to, you're not going to Amsterdam uh, by yourself uh, to train. But he said, when, uh, when in the neighborhood uh, there is some training, you can do that. So two years later, um, uh, somebody came to, to, to teach in, in, in my hometown. And then I started training. So then I was 15. Wow. Okay. And so, was there a certain point in your training, like when you when you originally started training, you were maybe you thought this looks fun and exciting. At what point in your training you say, you know what, I could do this. I could actually get in the ring. I can maybe fight for money or professionally. Well, in thinking about professionally, I mean, the big the sport was so small that but those days I think in America it was bigger there was a lot of full contact and, uh, and kickboxing uh, going on here or in, in America and um, but in Holland it was not that big uh, so I just did it for fun and but I mean it appeared that I had uh, I had talent quite quite fast mm. um, so um, after maybe a year I was thinking about oh it should be nice to to, to, to fight and I think 
how old was I? I think I was, uh, I think a year later about, uh, I went to see the first fight, the first uh, kickboxing fight. It was very exciting because I saw all the fighters with their hands uh, wrapped up and, uh, you know, and I really thought like now they're really going to fight. You know, it, it was really scary, kind of. And, um, um, but then after the first fight, it, it was it, it was all okay. And then I really thought to myself, uh, I want to do this. Um, but then my, my trainer, he, I would, I should be the first fighter he would bring to the ring mm -hmm. so he didn't want to take uh, any risk so he kept me training for I think a year and a half more and I think looking back that is that is a big advantage has been a big a big advantage for me because I was really well prepared when I uh, when I fought my first fight although when I look at the fight it uh, yeah, as I said, it looks like shit. <laughs> but it was my first fight. It was very, it was, it was very important for me. And I, I wonder. I mean, I did, I did some real good things. I won the fight by knockout, um, um, and and it was a good knockout. Uh, thinking back, uh, knowing I still know exactly what I did and what the moment in the moment is, is in my memory forever. Um, so that was very important. Uh, for for the, for the for the rest of my career that's a big moment obviously yeah was, especially yeah. your first fight and you win by a knockout i think that's gonna be a, a big yeah. impact you know no, no pun but well especially because my opponent i mean afterwards you hear all the stories and my opponent was a kyokushin fighter and he was already a little bit older and uh, I wanted to give him a, a, an easy, a easy fighter mm. uh, to, 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 for him to, to get used to, to fight kickboxing. But uh, yeah, he got me and um, I was, nobody knew me. Uh, nobody knew the gym I was training at. So um, everybody underestimated the, the whole thing. Yeah, obviously. I, yeah. And I'm curious now, so Obviously, you now this has been your career, and a, a big, uh, you know, kickboxing has been so huge in your life and most of your life. How, mm -hmm. now, how, how has it affected other areas of your life? Not just like inside your ring, like you know, your your work ethic and everything, uh, training. How has this affected mm -hmm. basically everything else, uh, like the, even your personality, like confidence and all this kind of thing? Um. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, and when you start kickboxing, it's like you want to be, you want to show that you're uh, that you're tough and that you uh, that you can fight, blah blah. And uh, at some point, when you're training, and the training is very hard, and you're getting tired of it and everything, uh, then you start to change. Then you mm. then then you really t uh, take it serious seriously. And that's what happening what happened to me. And at first, I thought. Uh, well, you know, if I have to beat somebody up on the street, then I can use it. But later, I mean, after already after a few months, it, it really changed. And uh, yeah, I mean, it became some kind of a way of life, uh, preparing. Uh, and, 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 and I mean, the, the fight, the fight and the training had so many metaphors for for uh, for life. Uh, and I was looking, I was more and more when I, when I, um, uh, the, the more I uh, trained, the more I looked, looked at things like that. A lot of people look at somebody who's been, become really successful and they think they were yeah. always like that, right? They think, oh, you know, they kind of look at, they, like, it's just like a static thing that's, it's always has been. But, you know, you, yeah. you had your beginnings when you were very young and, you, you know, then you had your first fight and then you had a, a very good start. But yeah. For somebody, for to like yourself, starting as a teenager and then mm -hmm. to this point, all, along mm -hmm. the way, like what, what, why do you think you became so successful when so many other people have tried and, and they haven't become this successful? Well, I think of course, what is the main, the main, main thing is the, the talent. You must have the talent. If you don't have talent, then you, if you work hard, but you don't have talent, then still you will not make it. You will, you will be able to push it to some, to, to, to a certain point, but the top you will never reach because talent is, is the most important part in my opinion. Mm. And um, 
so I had the talent um, and and I felt I knew when I compared myself with, with all the other guys um, um, not with all the other guys but, but with most of the guys I saw that I had a lot of potential a lot of talent mm -hmm. um, how much if it was enough for the for the big for the big guys in Amsterdam I didn't know um, uh, I would have uh, wait and see but um, uh, create um, um, I say that uh, developing the talent um, that I mean that was the that was very important mm -hmm. the, the big advantage for me is that I started with a, at, at, a, at a small gym uh, my trainer just started he he was like I have to teach every everybody everything from the beginning so he really uh, um, concentrated on the on the on the, the the basics the footwork and everything so if I look at if I look now uh, almost 34 years later I still work with that basics and um, um, I think that that has been a, a big, a big uh, had had has had a big influence on my career. Okay, so you you mentioned there um, you mentioned developing talent. So I think a lot of people, even when they have talent, it seems like a lot of people don't take their talents anywhere. They don't actually use um, their natural abilities and, and develop them. So and you also mentioned no. uh, working on those basics too. So. Yeah. Like where does where does the uh, the work ethic come in here to actually help you use the talent you have and make it into something really big instead of you know like a lot of people who don't take their talent anywhere? Well, you know, I, I think uh, when you when you train and and sometimes we were training with with friends and something. I mean, you start to finding out things like oh, I can do this like this. I can do a kick or a punch or or whatever like this or like that. And I was looking always around me because uh, um, when I started training, uh, the guys were busy already two months, so they have were a little bit ahead of me. So I looked around like, how is he doing it? How is he doing that? And I think um, um, uh, I, I felt I felt right away what was good and what was not good, and. So, so I, I copied the things I thought I could use. Actually, I, I, I have done that a long time in my in my career. Always looking at fighters, uh, how they how they are doing it. Oh.